Hello, I'm Marcus Riccelli, your state representative from the 3rd District, serving Spokane, the heartbeat of the Inland Northwest. I'm back here at the state capitol in Olympia after being home in Spokane last weekend. Representative Tim Ormsby, Senator Andy Billig and I held a town hall meeting on Saturday, March 11th at the Washington Cracker Factor Building. The turnout was incredible. Hundreds of people showed up to spend part of their Saturday morning with us. They asked questions, shared their concerns, or just listened to the discussion. We took as many questions as we could, but we didn't get to all of them before we ran out of time. So I'd like to answer a couple of the ones we didn't get to. The first question comes from Bill. Bill says that he heard on the news that 75,000 people in the 5th Congressional District, which includes all of Spokane County, have health insurance through the Affordable Care Act. What's the real number for Spokane County only? Bill, that's a great question. I'm not familiar with the news story that uses 75,000 number, but our numbers that came from the March 2016 Washington Health Benefit Exchange Report said that 11,197 people were covered under the private market through the exchange and 55,617 through Medicaid expansion for Spokane County. That's 66,814 total. Thanks for your question, Bill. I also wanted to answer a question from Vicki. She asked why I don't attend a West Central Neighborhood Council meeting or send a representative to attend on my behalf. Actually, I'd love to come to one of those meetings. When the legislative session is over, I'll make it a point to do just that. Because I'm in Olympia during the session, it isn't possible for me to attend events in Spokane during the week. And my legislative assistant, Maureen, is here in Olympia too. But we're looking forward to coming back home when session ends. And we'll be able to meet with constituents in Spokane. Finally, I want to give a shout out to someone who was at last week's town hall and asked an excellent question. Stacy attends Roosevelt Elementary. She asked me, why isn't there more curriculum for Black History Month in her school? Stacy, I'm glad you asked the question and I'll be following up with Superintendent Shelley Redinger about this. It's really great to see young people speaking up and getting involved. So thank you for bringing that issue to our attention, Stacy. And if you weren't at the town hall but have a question for me, please call my office, send me an email. My contact information is on the screen. I'm always glad to hear from you, and it's an honor to be your representative. Go Zags!